Have you heard the story of billionaire Miles Guo? Last year, 200 FBI agents raided his New York City penthouse and went on fire after they left, but the news never covered it. It's the wildest story over the last two years. I've been saving and waiting to tell this story since I first started tracking it 15 months ago. So bookmark this video, DM it to yourself, you're not going to want to miss this one. Finally, in the news cycle is Guo Wenggui, aka Miles Kwok, aka Miles Guo. The federal fraud trial has just begun. But who is he? Prior to coming to the US, Miles Guo was the 73rd richest man in China. For comparison, that would make him richer than Oprah. Made his money in real estate and technology and was a known associate of the top leadership of the CCP. But something changed. He started speaking publicly against the CCP in 2014, said that the Chinese real estate market was controlled and not solvent, said that it would collapse due to internal fraud, said that the Chinese banks were over leveraged and were stealing with CCP knowledge from the populace. He started speaking of political corruption, which as you know, is not allowed. According to Wikipedia, Guo ran away to the US after learning he was going to be arrested for bribery, kidnapping, money laundering, fraud, and rape. According to Guo, he says he was fleeing political retribution from the CCP. In 2017, from the $82 million Central Park penthouse, he started to livestream, calling out the CCP, creating an organization and movement to overthrow it, started a group called the New Federal State of China, gathering other CCP whistleblowers. 2017, the CCP, working with Interpol and the FBI, attempt to bring Guo back from the US to China. After failed attempts, the head of investigation for Interpol went missing. Between 2017 and 2019, here are a list of ideas that he put out into the world. Hey tech overlords, I'm not saying it, I'm repeating what he alleged. All before 2020. 1. Guo said that the CCP was working on a bioweapon, that it would be released to the world, and that the damage would not be the virus, but the vaccine treatment. 2. Guo said that the Chinese real estate market would crash, and that the banks did not have the cash they said they did, that the entire market was inflated and fraudulent. 3. Guo said that the CCP was working with the US DOJ and that Trump would face multiple federal indictments. 4. Guo said that the Dominion voting machines were compromised. His proof? He was one of the major investors in the company that wrote the software. 2021, SEC goes after him for regulatory violations where he settles for $539 million. March 15, 2023. 200 FBI agents raid the New York City Central Park penthouse of Miles Guo and arrest him. They take all electronics including 252 electronic devices, cell phones, hard drives, flash drives, computers, etc. Immediately after the FBI leave, his two-story penthouse erupts in fire. Again, 200 FBI agents raided an $82 million penthouse in the middle of Central Park. The two-story apartment goes on fire, attracts all types of firefighters and commotion, and the news didn't touch it. Miles Guo is arrested for fraud. His victims? There were none. The investors that invested in his media company to continue the fight against the CCP that he allegedly defrauded have publicly said they do not want the money back. Miles Guo has been sitting in jail for the last 15 months without bail, citing COVID health concerns. Presided by the same judge that was over the Sam Bankman-Fried FTX fraud case, SBF was given bail in his fraud case with thousands of known victims. Guo was given no bail due to COVID with no known victims. Interesting enough, Miles Guo was supposed to testify in the federal case where a Malaysian financier was using pros from the Fujis and Leonardo DiCaprio to funnel money to the Obama campaign, but was unable to due to COVID restrictions in 2023. This week, jury selection has finally begun for the Miles Guo federal fraud case. Some say he's a CCP spy and plant. Others say he's being silenced for trying to take down the system. I don't know. I've never met the guy. However, when the news cycle conveniently leaves out the most pertinent parts of a story, definitely makes me question, should we continue to follow this trial?